What's going on, Lawn Care Nation? Richie Plums of Plums Lawn and Landscape. So, it's raining. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to rain today, so uh, and it's uh, it's coming down pretty good. Uh, like I said, it wasn't supposed to rain at all today, so I come to do a little bit of work. We were going to do some trimming of some uh, shrubs and trees, and uh, kind of makes it hard to do when it rains like this. Uh, no one likes having wet leaves, I guess, all over them. But uh, we've got some clear skies coming up in the next couple of days. I just wanted to jump on here and make a video. A lot of people ask where I went, what happened, um, why I didn't make a many videos um, you know a lot of people ask when I'm gonna make videos why I'm not making videos so on and so forth etc etc so I'm gonna make this video now um, it's taken me a little over a year to actually make this video and it's a subject that's it's kind of hard to touch on for me personally uh, but here it is um, a couple years ago my sister i have a, a lot of you don't know i have a twin sister she was diagnosed with a liver disease uh the liver disease uh they were able to keep under control for a while but she needed a new liver um i was gonna actually donate a portion of my liver um a lot of things go into it it's not an easy process it's not a quick process it's a long process it takes a while a lot of testing a lot of medical tests blood tests making sure we're matches all that you think because we're twins we'd be a perfect match but that's not always the case so um i made a business decision at the time uh during the covid 19 pandemic uh, it was difficult to find employees and i made the decision to I'll probably roll that window if you can probably hear me better but uh i made the decision to sell most of my business um, and the reason I'd done that was because I started a trucking company which you've probably seen some trucking videos on the channel uh, I started the trucking company my wife of course still owns um, her portion of the business as far as the landscape and the lawn care goes so we weren't totally out of the game um, I cut back up quite a bit sold a lot of equipment a lot of customers uh, contracts on customers things like that the gentleman that bought it's doing great he's doing fantastic he's doing a you know just he's doing a good job uh, but uh, the reason I done that was because it is easier for me to put one man in a truck and uh, let him drive while I recovered from a liver donation surgery basically um, wasn't something that I really wanted to do uh, but at a financial standpoint, it made a little more sense to sell off the uh, lawn care instead of trying to find five or six guys to run a lawn care crew. It was easier for me to find one guy to put into a truck and make money. So uh, while I was going to be out of work for anywhere from four to six months, depending on how the recovery went, so it may have been quicker, it may have been longer, uh, depending on how the... Uh, the recovery went kind of depended on how long I was going to be out, I guess. So, finding guys that I could trust to do the lawn care side was getting harder and harder. So, uh, the COVID pandemic, a lot of people, uh, you know, this is not political, but a lot of people were getting government money, government assistance, and so they were choosing to stay home and not go to work. Um, I couldn't get that assistance. I, you know, I had to uh, I had to keep working to make a living and, and pay my bills. So, um, what I ended up doing was selling a lot of the business, bought a truck, started a trucking company, uh, had it on the road a little over a year. I actually moved up to two trucks, and uh, everything was going great. Everything was fantastic. Uh, fast forward Thanksgiving of 2021. We go to my sister's house. We have a wonderful Thanksgiving. She's happy. She, she seems the healthiest she's been in a long time. The medicine's doing its job. Uh, everything's working out great. Uh, day after Thanksgiving, I got a phone call um, that I needed to get to my sister's house. Um, 
She had what was called a esophageal varices. Basically, her uh, blood vessels in her chest were rupturing uh, because her liver was no longer functioning. It it happened quick. It's uh, it's not it's not a pretty sight. It's not uh, something I want to uh, ever have to relive again. It's a day that I'll never forget. It's a day that changed my life, and um, it's a day that we found out my two nephews were going to lose their second parent. Um, Lost the father in a uh, car accident uh, almost 10 years to the day that my sister uh, had passed. Pretty close to it. So, uh, my parents, my mother actually moved in with my nephew so that we wouldn't have to uproot them. Um, the truck inside, like I said, was so that I could put a driver in. No longer needed to do that. So, um, it's better for me to be home with my family instead of being on the road and working all the time. It was better for me to get back home, uh, be with my family, help my nephews, help my mother and my father with my nephews. And, uh, and that's the reason why I disappeared from uh, lawn care for a little while. Uh, a lot of people don't understand the story. They don't know the story. Uh, they just seen that I was trucking, thought I just sold it because I was done with it. That, that had nothing to do with it. It, uh, it all boiled down to making a business decision to financially be better on me and my family now when my sister passed away I had no reason for the trucking anymore uh, sold the trucks and um, back to full-time uh, lawn care and landscape if I find uh, workers that's great if I don't that's that's fine too um, I'm happy where I'm at uh, I'm in no hurry to grow to the size that I was before uh, financially working by myself um, this right now is probably better um, the employment pool is still not great <laughs> so it's still kind of rough uh, but outside of that I mean what more could I ask for I mean I'm, 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 I'm at work every day I'm making good money and doing something I enjoy to do that being said I did uh, the the portion of the business that I sold I cannot um, go back and take those customers nor would I want to do that that wouldn't be fair to him he's doing a fantastic job matter of fact my wife gets her her salon that she gets her hair done uh, he he got it and uh, every time she's been in there it's looked great it's looked fantastic he's doing a wonderful job so um, we're, we're not gonna go back and take the stuff that he has now that uh, that I sold so uh, it's all new customers so it's basically like starting new starting fresh starting all over again um, I heard a saying one time, to be successful, it's not about growing quickly, it's not about growing fast, it's, the, you know, uh, take a tree for example, uh, a pine tree grows quick, and it's soft wood, you cut it down quickly, it brings less money, it's worthless. Uh, an oak tree grows slow, it's harder wood, it's tougher wood, and, uh, and it's worth more in the long run. So, uh, when you think about it, I want to be the oak tree, I don't want to be the pine tree, so... Anyway, guys, I know this is no fancy video, but a lot of people have asked me what happened, where I've been, and I decided I would make a video on it. Now you guys know, um, so you're going to start seeing me a lot more in the lawn care side now that uh, the trucking is 100% out of the way. Um, it's, like I said, it wasn't a decision that was easy to make uh, when I sold. It wasn't an easy decision to to go on the road and uh, and run the trucking side. And don't get me wrong, I mean, we we financially, we done great trucking. There was, it wasn't like we um, were struggling or any of that. I mean, we were doing really good. I had uh, bought the trucks and the uh, company we were hauling for had plenty of stuff to haul. Uh, we, we worked every week and uh, made good money, so. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. Why I've not been around, why, uh, why you didn't see much mowing out of me and then the reason why that uh, I did the things that I did. So I'm back to mowing. Um, we're excited about 2023. <clears throat> We've got uh, big plans this year. We are uh, we were invited back to the uh, Echo Means Business User Advisory Group. We're excited about that. Um, we're excited to uh, pick up new customers. Uh, we've pretty well picked and, and I like I said we are a, a commercial mowing company we don't do very much residential we prefer the commercial side to me that's uh, something I enjoy a little bit more is commercial um, 
this year we do plan to do a little bit more on the landscaping side than we have in the past hopefully um and and starting over it's i know things now that i didn't know before um like vetting my customers <laughs> so i don't just take any customer that calls me and says hey i need you to come mow my yard i don't jump on the in the truck and run right over there and say all right let's mow it it'll be this much and we just knock it out um we've kind of shied away from that over the years and learned that uh, some customers just aren't a fit for you just like uh, some customers are, are, are you're, you're not a fit for some customers so uh, we prefer the line, the commercial side and that's where we plan to stay so but anyway guys I know no fancy video or anything nothing uh, nothing to look at other than my ugly face riding down the road so uh, since mother nature had other plans and said she wanted to pull rain today it uh, kind of put a damper <laughs> on our plans so anyway guys make sure you like subscribe and uh, I may start doing this on Mondays we'll call it uh, rambling with Richie on Mondays so <laughs> but anyway guys make sure you like subscribe we'll see you guys in the next video